honestly, honestly, with him and Candace acting the way they are, and probably Ben coming soon about trans people right now, I don't want to say it's a good thing, but it's almost better than like doing it so covertly that like people who are on the fence about it could be could be fought over. You know what I mean? I just linked this from one of the chatters. I haven't seen or heard anything about it yet, but apparently uh, this is a pretty bad, even by Matt Walsh's standards, a pretty bad example of transphobia. So trigger warning, uh, both on Twitch and on YouTube for those who are not prepared for some rancid, rabid transphobia here. I have not seen it. I don't know what it entails. I don't even know if it's safe for Twitch. So we'll see. Uh, we'll just take a shot in the dark and hope for the best. Let's go. Dylan. If that is the most attractive you will ever look, then I don't even want to imagine what you'll look like when you're at your ugliest. You do not pass as, a, as an attractive woman or as a woman at all. Uh, even with 50 pounds of makeup and plastic surgery and clever lighting tricks, even then you still cannot escape what you really are and what you will always be. You have- Dude, there are cis women who don't even pass. Like, what the fuck is this? What? First of all, not even true, he's coping. He's literally coping. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll keep playing. I'll keep successfully playing. shed whatever parts of you were masculine, perhaps, at least on the surface. Nobody would ever describe you as masculine or manly, so you've got that going. But your femininity quotient has not increased at a rate commensurate with the loss of your masculinity. Ah, see, now he's got my attention. The masculinity quotient. I actually like that. We should steal that. We should co-op that. My mask. Listen, my personal masculinity quotient is pretty damn high. All right. <laughs> the, fe the femininity quotient. Uh, uh, if you carry the one, you see the uh, jawbone here. Is, it's just not. <laughs> uh, uh, check his Facebook. Hold on. What's what's this? What? I mean, yeah, he's soy as fuck. Like this. This is what he looks like without a beard. He like. Yeah, he's, he's a soy boy. He's a loser. Anyway, um, you may not be masculine, but you also aren't feminine instead you are you are weird and artificial you are manufactured and lifeless you are unearthly and eerie you are like some kind of human deep fake that's what you what? are you are a man deprived of all the best qualities of men but without any of the best qualities of women even your personality is con you've talked about nothing but looks so far you're about to get into personality it seems like but the best qualities of men are not physical in nature you know and by the way these assholes talk about that all the time they're like well what makes a real man a real man takes care of his, his wife and it's like you don't have to look like anything to do that dylan could literally marry a woman and do all of the same shit that a man does and he would still say this you know what i mean like he like she, like dylan could literally marry a woman have a nine to five job uh bear children right or like, you know, have his wife bear, or her wife bear children, sorry. And like, do all of the same shit that a man does. And he would still say this, but only about her looks. Contrived, everything about you is fake. Nothing about you rings true. Nobody buys the act. You'll never be accepted as a woman by anyone. Never by anyone. Even the people who pretend to accept you as a woman are only pretending because they're afraid of being lectured if they don't. Or because they oh, want totally, to use totally true, you dude. as a platform to virtue signal. If there's one thing I'm afraid of, and everyone knows this, it's a good lecture by leftists, right? I am terrified of being lectured by leftists. But everyone who looks at you will see something pitiable and bizarre, something utterly unfeminine in every way. You will never be able to actually have the identity that you're trying to appropriate, nor will you ever be able to fully escape the identity that you're fleeing. The best. The only fake thing is Matt Walsh's hairline. That's true. Doesn't he have plugs? Listen, listen, I have a terrible hairline, but at least I own it, man. Like, I'll literally just shave it off. Like, I have the hairline of like a 70-year-old man. And you know what I did? I owned it. I shaved it, okay? Now, I might get plugs in the future, but at least I'm capable of um, looking this way without the hairline, okay? I'm just saying. You all seem to be reacting pretty well after I watch this. I literally wanted TOS filing things to happen to Matt Walsh. I just like, it's just expected from him at this point. Like, we all knew this was coming. Honestly, honestly, with him and Candace acting the way they are, and probably Ben coming soon 
about trans people right now. I don't want to say it's a good thing, but it's almost better than like doing it so covertly that like people who are on the fence about it could be could be bought over. You know what I mean? Like they're going full mask off at this point. They're just saying like trans people are evil. Trans people are demons. You need to like lynch your local trans woman today uh, like uh, or your money back guaranteed. Like that's the route they're going right now. And in a way, it's it's almost better for us that they're doing that because, you know, sure, it'll radicalize the right into like a frenzy, a fervent frenzy. And, you know, like probably lead to violence, really. It's probably not all that good to be real. But in a broader sense, I think that the people who are on the fence will kind of be shook by this and be like, wow, that's kind of weird, isn't it? That's kind of weird that he cares that much, isn't it? You can hope for is some kind of limbo, the worst of all worlds. And yet, even in that limbo state, you will still be a man. Just not one that any of us can respect or take seriously. But other than that, champ, you're doing great. Bro, he, he, he brought out the champ. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Every time I hear somebody, like a guy say the word champ, I think of like a dad figure. And thinking of Matt Walsh as a dad figure is just so scary to me. Like imagine having this guy as your dad. I think I'd fucking uh, Minecraft myself, dude. I think I would immediately uh, stay underwater too long in Minecraft. You know, I wouldn't even want like a quick Minecraft death. I would take the hardest and most painful route uh, just because I know that I'm blood related to him and hopefully, hopefully he will feel like a portion of that pain as I'm going out. I think that's what I, what, what I would do, honestly. I mean, also like just, have you, have you seen the way that he like talks about and treats his kids? It's really weird. Like he doesn't let them on the internet at all. He like had his kid. Hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Yes. Thank you. We don't let our kids use phones or the internet or video games, so instead my son spends his time building forts and campsites in the backyard. He's working on a two-story structure here. He can get up on the platform to take out any intruders with his bow and arrow, or he can sleep under it to take, uh, stay out of the elements. He laid out the moss on the ground as his bed. How much do you fucking want to bet that he sleeps out here just to avoid his dad, you know? One day he's going to use that second floor to, uh, you know, hit his dad with one of his clearly fake bow and arrows. Right? Like, he's got a straight-up bow and arrow over here. Like, a deadly fucking weapon that he just lets his kid use. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, that kid's gonna be a school shooter. How old is his kid? 30? I don't know. I don't know. Like, that kid's gonna be a school shooter, though, right? Either that or, like, the most flagrantly queer trans woman that, I, that you've ever seen. That you've ever seen. You know what I mean? Like, she comes out in 10 years and is like, Hey, by the way, everybody, like, I'm... Uh, I'm trans also fuck my dad and then like you know uh, funny antics ensue kind of like what happened with Elon Musk right you know anyway but yeah um no Matt Walsh is a piece of shit and he always will be and I, I feel like we all been done notice they're just going mask off with it boys I don't know what to tell you they're just they decided it's time it's time you know winter was biting that anyway if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload. If you want to join our channel membership, jo uh, type in youtube.com slash TTV slash join. I'll leave a uh, link in the description. Join for 99 cents a month. You can get awesome emotes that you can use in my comment section and a badge next to your name. On top of that, you get early access to my videos that I'm too lazy to make thumbnails for. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. So, um... Less than a dollar a month. It's not bad. That's less than $12 a year. $12 a year to help me fund my projects. So anyway, thank you all so much again, and I will see you all in the next video.